Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be making this Learning to Fly Mixed Media Pendant. Now I'm starting off with 80s epoxy sculpt as well as some Finnebear molds. I need two equal parts. I'm just going to mix it thoroughly together. And then once it's mixed, I just place it in the mold and remove any excess and just let it cure for a couple of hours. Now at the time I wasn't sure which pieces I was going to be using so I did end up making quite a few little molds uh, even if I don't use them today in this project I'll use them later on for future projects. Now I knew that I wanted to make some sort of shadow box for uh, one of the wings as my focal uh, and I went through my scrap pile of metal which I have a lot of and uh, it doesn't bother me in the slightest that the metal is um, discolored or that it has some residue on it. Um, it doesn't bother me at all and I'm not going to measure because I've never been big on measuring so I actually just took a popsicle stick and I measured all, well I, I used the side or the width of the popsicle stick to make all of the walls of the shadow box the same and then I cut all of the corners and I also trimmed all of the edges to the walls. Now keep in mind whenever you're working with metal you want to make sure that you're wearing safety glasses and also that the metal is, is extremely sharp so um, just keep that in mind and watch your fingers. Now I did use a metal hole punch to add two holes and now now I'm using a file um, to file down all of the edges and I'll finish it off with some ultra fine steel wool. Now one of the easiest ways to bend metal cleanly is by torching it first and um, annealing it and you do that by just adding a torch to it and letting it uh, come up to a nice red color and then letting it cool. But it's not completely necessary. You can still do this technique without having a torch. You just need a pair of flat pliers and you're just going to bring up one wall at a time and um, I used a soft hammer to just hammer them in place and it worked fine. Now at this point I decided I also wanted to use that moon and so I punched another hole with my metal punch and prepared to add some color. Here I'm using three colors. I'm using Coastal Waters 24 Karat Gold and Tangelo Orange. And this is one of the reasons why I like to start with a black base because I always feel like if you're, you're starting with a black base it, it's almost less work to create dimension and texture and I just use these three colors and I love the way it came out. Now because I'm using so many hard surfaces I needed something soft so I decided to add some fiber scraps to the inside of the shadow box. Now for the moon I took another piece of scrap metal and I'm just tracing it onto the metal and then I'm using a thick sharpie to go around um, the line that I traced. Now I'm doing this again because I don't want to measure and um, it's going to give me a guide of where to cut the circle and I used a, um, a pair of shears to cut the circle and here I'm just filing it just like I did the previous metal and cleaning it with the ultra fine steel wool. Now I punch a hole um, so that I have some way of hanging it and then I create these little notches which I'm later going to cut out using a jeweler saw. Now for color, I added some of that coastal waters to the moon and then I just wiped it off with some steel wool and then finished off with some of that 24 karat gold. Once I was happy with it, I placed it on the metal and lifted one notch at a time until it was secure. I next drilled two holes on the wing, one on each side. I felt like the wing needed a little something so I fed some wire through it and added some beads as well as adding some um, chain to the box. 
I then stitched together my pieces of fabric, glued it inside the shadow box as well as the wing with some tacky glue. You might not think to use tacky glue, but it works perfectly fine. I really do love the way this pendant came out. It's fun, whimsical, recycled, and full of different elements and textures. If you learned something new and want to support my channel, buy me a cup of coffee on Ko-fi.